What up, people of the internet? Welcome back to Octane Vision. We got the fancy pants capstone here. We're gonna be going up against the TRD Pro. Let's see how these two compare. Let's get into it, guys. Ha <laughs> ha, something new guys. This isn't a sports car today, okay? We've got a big old truck, big old made in America truck for you. Thought we'd switch it up, do something new. Let's get into it. We got the 2022 Toyota Tundra Capstone. So, right off the bat, we got this really massive grill. This one's a little bit special because it does have that hybrid system. As we come along the side, we got the iForce Max with that blue, again, indicating that is the Max version with that hybrid. We got these massive 22s, these huge honkers. They are the first time that Toyota's ever put 22s on a truck and the design's okay, but the road presence is really cool with these things. Coming along the side, some more. We got the capstone uh, badge here to let everyone know that you're a big baller. You spend lots of dollars. You got this cool truck. As we open the door, just to show you guys, deployable running boards looks really good only thing i'm hesitant with deployable running boards is you ever see like expeditions rolling around and they're just down all the time i hope the reliability is really good on this i mean if toyota does anything right it's reliability so i'm assuming that they're going to be pretty good coming around the side here we have again the rear quarter here with your big old bed and this piece right here for me this design it, uh, I was looking at other trucks, they don't really have this, and I think this is kind of a boring section. I think that looks really good. We also have the single exhaust here on the left side. We have the tailgate that has the soft close, and we got a lot of Big Macs, lumber, whatever. You hit this side button, boom, there you go. Got this deployable uh, step here to get into the bed. And this year, the bed is actually an aluminum composite, so you're not gonna be looking like a rust bucket down in the line in your capstone. This thing's gonna be looking good, easy to get in and out of, super, super easy. I mean, most trucks nowadays have that, but it's nice, I've never seen that elbow feature. We have uh, your cleats here and there. If you've got dirt bikes, you got your ATVs, I don't know how many people with the capstone are gonna be doing that, but you got them. They're movable, nice and easy. Your camera's back there. Let's close this up. You got the, the Tundra stamp in the bed. Overall, I think it's really good. I like that the bumpers on the front and the back, they don't carry all the way over here. I don't like a big chrome bumper at the back. I think it's kind of cheap and I like that they stopped it. Uh, we also have these sequential taillights. So that's a, a good rundown of the exterior. Let's, uh, let's head inside and check out that luxurious interior. All right, let's get in this thing, boys and girls. Whew. Right off the bat, feels like opulence. I feel like I've just gone up a few tax brackets getting in this thing. It's, it's luxurious, guys. This two-tone leather is really nice. So you might be looking around and thinking, wow, this, this truck, this looks pretty fully loaded. And I'll say, hell yeah, this thing is fully loaded. Oh boy, I got a seagull coming. That was opportunistic. So up front here, we have our 12.3 inch digital cluster here. It's well done, it's pretty large. It's got everything that you need on it. It's got your electric motor, motor, motor details, <laughs> modard. <laughs> uh, you got your electric um, motor information there when it's recharging the battery, how much torque you're using off acceleration. You also have um, a lot of trailer information. If you have a trailer on here, it's really useful to, for that. Your lane keep assist, somewhat annoying the lane keep thing, but. Well, we won't talk about that. I think it's really well done. The one thing I'm missing from this is a little more customizability. You know, like I said, it's got your, your information, but I, I wanna see a little bit more. I maybe like take the map and put it into one side of it. I like those little things. So maybe in the next year, we'll see a little more customizability on the, the digital gauge cluster. Got this nice steering wheel here. 
The buttons look really good. It doesn't look like they've been taken from anywhere. It looks like they were specifically designed for this steering wheel. You have your buttons here on the left. You also have memory seatings. You got your holy bar here. That's nice. JBL surround sound in here. Physical buttons, guys. We got a huge elephant in the room, which is this massive touchscreen. And you might be thinking, Spence, how big is that thing? Well, good question because I brought a ruler with me. I don't need that marketing stuff. Let's see here. We got this bad boy. We know that this is roughly about 12 inches. So that looks like a 14 inch screen, okay? Super clean. The UI on there is like an iPhone. I think from most manufacturers, probably one of the nicer ones I've seen actually. Some of them are just absolute dog shit. You have really, really nice uh, walnut in here, real I think Texas Walnut. It looks good, feels good. We have the capstone that comes up at night, which looks really cool. Really nice ambiance in here. Huge panoramic sunroof, which goes back. We have that rear window that I love personally that drops down, everyone looks at it. What's it with manufacturers and giving you like uh, this big uh, rear window? Like what are you supposed to do with that? Like this is how it should be for every truck. Tons of storage in here. You got this container, another one here, another one there. And then if you need even more space, you got your cup holders here and your wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is nice. They, that's a new feature that's thrown in with this year is that wireless. Previously with some Toyotas, it was uh, the plug-in. So it's nice to see that. The two-tone leather looks great. This is only available in the capstone. You can't get this two-tone anywhere else. Lots of space back there, super comfortable. The seats are supportive. Uh, long drives, my back wasn't sore or anything. We have the air-cooled and heated seat. Overall, a really nice interior, but uh, let's take it out for a drive and uh, see how she rolls. It is a good song. I don't know what that sh it is. I only know America. Bad Tim boy. McGraw, baby. I'm driving a truck. I only listen to Tim McGraw. Driving a truck. I got in the mood. Throwing my trucker hat today. I want to really embody this whole trucker vibe, this video, you know? And we're going to be driving this bad boy and the Tundra TRD Pro. So I really got to embody this whole entire character. This big old Tundra is powered by a 3.5 liter V6 that is twin turboed, putting out 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque. I don't know uh, how I feel about no V8. It just feels a little bit bizarre, but I mean, you got to go with the times. And of course, this is the iForce Max, and that Max is the hybrid and Toyota and Ford are the only two trucks on the market right now that have a hybrid system. Uh, it's a little bit weird actually driving a big truck like this and in the beginning uh, you have just electrical power. You hear the hybrid system, uh, as I like to call it, making the Jesus noise where it's like, ah! you know, like, <laughs> It's, uh, it's a little bit weird, like no noises, It's but it's cool. I like we're going in a, a new direction. From a fuel economy standpoint, this is uh, great. Getting back to this, this is a 10 speed auto. Uh, so they've put a new transmission in here, new powertrain. It gets up and goes pretty quick. Get her going, brother. That hybrid system, like I was talking about earlier, it gives you that low end torque and those 10 gears, you just rip through them, good for highway cruising. It's really nice. The leather is what Toyota is calling semi-aniline. So these bad boys are taken right from the top of the level uh, LS Lexus spec vehicles. Uh, and when they were designing this Tundra, they were actually benchmarking Bentley for the level of quality. So that, if that gives you an idea of how serious Toyota was taking this truck, uh, they really wanted to come into the market and make a statement. And I think uh, just from an overall interior presence they've really been able to do that uh, we also have acoustic uh, windows so it's a thicker window that gives a better sound experience in here and after driving on the highway i was i didn't even think about it but i was like all of a sudden i was like wow it is so quiet in here and i remembered that those windows were in here and they were doing their job they were making it quiet and peaceful and it was it, it's it's quite nice you actually do really notice it one of my favorite things in this car, and I, it may seem like a, a small overlooked thing, but it's this 
little tray like i don't even know what to call this armrest if you will it seems so silly for this to be like one of my favorite things about this car but honestly sit in this use it feel it it's so great well we've come to the exciting portion of the review the launch so let's come to a stop and let's get her oh geez we're in sport plus oh wow for a truck, that's impressive. That electrical motor really helps out. Wow, I was not expecting that. What I really love about this truck, made in America, baby. Got R&D in some Michigan. Got a little bit of development in where it was born in Texas, baby. Texas a and M. I don't know, like I'm, I've never been to Texas, so. Leave a comment if you guys know Texas a little bit better than me. Maybe we'll go there one day. But it's nice to see Toyota making a truck all in America. I love the Japanese. They make fantastic products. But for this one, you got to leave it to the Americans. And I think they did a good job at that. The power delivery in this car is super linear. Super linear. That hybrid motor really helps out. I do miss the V8 a little bit. You know, You know what it is when you're just like, punch it you hear the gears drop in that big old v8 like you know it's nice to hear that i do miss it a little bit that exhaust but um, again you get that nice mileage so i don't know if this is just a pre-production model or, or you know how toyota is going at it uh, moving forward but the lane change indicator is so loud and i thought it was just me but i had passengers in the car and that was one of the first things they noticed uh without even having to say anything it is like it's it's so loud the thing that stood out most to me when I uh, was driving this is the front hood line it's uh, it's sloped inwards with these body lines and it gives you the impression that the front end is much smaller than it is don't get me wrong when you're changing lanes and everything you still feel like you have a truck and you got to be careful about that but it just gives you this feeling that uh, you're driving something much smaller than than it really is which I really do like I think the styling on this car is fantastic. It gets a lot of looks, a lot of compliments. It is very pleasant to be in here. The, the, the ambiance in here with the leather, you have all the ambient lighting at night. It's really nice, really pleasant. Uh, it feels super premium, super luxury. This is great for people who you know wanna go up to Muskoka, wanna go boating. They got their sea in the back and they just wanna be comfortable. So this year for the 2022, Toyota really stepped up their technology game. They added a ton of cameras on this thing, but uh, this rear view mirror, uh, I've been flipping it into the camera mode uh, and I really like it. You get a really wide uh, point of view from the back there. You have less blind spots. Not that you have many, but it's nice to see that. Also, don't tell anyone. I like to people watch and this gets a good shot on people. Like, I see people getting in domestics. Listen to me, I'm your mother. Don't ever speak to me like that. It was insane. Can you believe that, Janet? I see some people flicking their nose. It's probably some of you in the comments. It, it's fun though. <laughs> As I mentioned, Toyota really took it seriously with this truck in general, but also their technology. The one thing they didn't do was the Toyota safety system or TSS. They didn't fully update it to 3.0 in this Tundra. It is 2.5. So, you know, that's a knock. The cornering in the Tundra is really good, actually. It's the steering is electrical for the first time, I think, ever on the Tundra. It's really nice. The steering wheel feels great. It, again, it's some mind trickery. You think you have a smaller car and you, you have a lot more confidence but again you're driving this big v6 baby all right well it's been fun and all being a pavement princess with this capstone but i kind of want to go have some fun so let's go hop in that trd pro and rip up the sand and here we are we got the tundra trd pro here in this wild solar octane orange great name Good job, Toyota. This color looks really cool. It really fits the bill for this rugged, look at me, I'm this big, tough truck look. So let's start with the front here. We got that crazy big grill that we saw in the capstone. Front and center, we have the Heritage Toyota badge here. I really, really dig this. I think it looks cool. Throwing it back to the good old days, I like that a lot. I think it looks good. Just right in your face, Toyota. Most obviously is this massive 
LED bar that goes right underneath the Toyota to underline at night that this is a Toyota, this is a Tundra, this is cool. Uh, and this comes from factory. I like that manufacturers are doing this stuff from factory, that's cool. Uh, we have these flares on the side here with this camo that Toyota is calling technical camo. And you'll see that as we go through the car that it's, it's in multiple locations. It, it's something different. I've never seen a manufacturer do that before. So I'm about it. Got these big, massive off-roading tires, forged rims from BBS. I think that's super cool that you get BBS rims right from the get-go. Obviously, uh, it's a little bit bigger. Fox shocks on this thing, one inch here in the front. We got two and a half inch raising in the back. We got the same uh, flares here in the camo. The big difference here though, guys, is it says TRD Pro, massive in the back, letting everyone know that you got a badass truck and you wanna be seen. We also have some more of the camo here. It just adds to that kind of tough ruggedness. We have the same elbow dropper on this guy here, which is nice. It's not on the other side. You got the same composite bed as we saw in the capstone. But overall, I think it's pretty nice here in the back, but let's look into the interior and see what kind of differences we got there. Oh, a oh. little bit different getting in this car there. Uh, I forgot to mention there's no deployable running boards like we have in the capstone. And with that elevated suspension, it's a little bit more of a hop, skip and a jump to get in here. It's very similar to the capstone. Obviously you have a few differences. First and foremost, these seats, we got that tactical camo going through the seats. We got my favorite, this uh, tray, this deli counter here that I like. Obviously we have the Subway sandwich, I mean 14 inch monitor up here with that nice UI. Your digital gauge, which is the same. Some of the differences in here, we have a red stitching in the middle there. We've got the TRD badge here on the bottom. You're gonna see TRD all throughout this car. If you forget you're driving a TRD, you're not gonna forget it in here. We got a red striping here on the uh, gear selector, TRD there cool uh, red startup button with TRD on there as well. I will say, when you get in here, it feels quality, right? You know Toyota, they, they build quality, they do it right, uh, it's nothing fancy, but I do feel like I have gone down a level with, in terms of the interior here. You notice the difference. Obviously, this is more a little more sporty, more rugged, and you feel that in here. So keep that in mind if, you're, if that's important to you, sporty or luxury. You have this really, really cool Toyota Heritage badge right on the side there. Looks badass. And then we have the MTS button here, which changes the traction control based on the different type of environment. If you're in sand, if you're in mud, if you're in dirt, if you're in the snow, whatever. And it also has the crawl feature, which is a totally wicked feature. I think the interior is nice, no big complaints in here. It's uh, again, maybe just a little more customizability again, but uh, otherwise pretty much the exact same as the capstone. Welcome to the door close test, the most highly anticipated part of this whole entire show, this exact moment. As always, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think I'm gonna rate this thing. Keep in mind, you trolls in the comments, prototype vehicle, okay? so. Put that into uh, your formula when you're putting down those comments, all right? So, here we go. What is that? Ready? Okay, a little heavy, a little, little plasticky. Hmm. 6.5? Nothing special. Okay. Slide it, slide it, slide it. <laughs> Man, these Fox shocks really absorb everything. <laughs> I know it's pretty bumpy here. These things rock. Toyota Racing Development, they specialize in basically off-road sand racing, and that's where we are right now. We thought it'd be uh, fitting to take it, uh, not mudding or any of that nonsense. Let's take it to the sand and let's see how this thing handles. So the TRD Pro has the same powertrain as the Capstone. We have that 3.5 liter, 10 speed automatic, V6 that's twin turboed with that iForce Max hybrid system, uh, pushing out the same horsepower and torque figures. And on a road like this, it's so much fun to take off the, put it in two wheel drive, four wheel drive, it doesn't matter, it is a blast. What's really great is it's got that uh, MTS, the multi-terrain system. And so actually, let's play with that right now. So we'll put it in MTS, four wheel, and then we'll put it in the sand mode. This thing out here handles like a beast. It absorbs all the bumps that are out here. You feel like you can just go off-roading, don't even need a trail, you don't need anything, and you're not worried at all. These huge off-road tires take care of 
everything that stands in your way. You have no problem. If you get stuck in a mud rut, put it in mud mode, four wheel drive, no problem. One of the things that is a little bit annoying uh, with this vehicle, uh, if you're serious into off-roading, it doesn't have the two front tow hooks. It's a little bizarre for something that's designed for off-roading. Toyota said that they wanted to keep uh, the aerodynamics up a little bit counterintuitive because this vehicle is meant for off-roading. We're not trying to get fuel economy here, but I mean, you gotta have a little bit of Japanese input into uh, a car like this. So being out here in the, uh, the trails and in the sand and some uphills and elevations, uh, it's really great to have all the cameras you can have, and this thing has a ton of them. Uh, you got the 360 cameras. If you're ever unsure, if you got a rock or something behind you, beside you, in front of you, the cameras are all around here. Uh, I have no lack of confidence out here. Like I feel like I have a surplus of confidence and a, <laughs> maybe a bad thing. I could just go all day long ripping through here, uh, which would be so much fun. But speaking of fun, let's uh, park this sucker up here for a sec, throw it in two wheel drive, turn the traction control off. Let's have some fun, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, woo. <laughs> Let's get this sucker on the road and see how she handles. Okay, so you do hear a little bit more road noise compared to that capstone. That acoustic glass really does help having driven both of these cars now. But you notice the, the tires, especially on the highway, the droning of that uh, a lot more than the capstone. And I mean, I don't think you really care. People who are buying this car, they're not really too concerned about uh, road noise. Like when you get big tires, that's what comes with this. You get road noise, it's not a big deal. The TRD Pro comes with a sport exhaust. Yeah, it sounds good. So I appreciate that. It's, it's not a V8, uh, but it'll have to do. I mean, this is, this is where we're going in the future. We're, we're going more fuel efficient. You just gotta get what you can take. I do really like the iForce Max system in this truck. You actually get pretty good fuel economy. It's surprising. Uh, we've been doing quite a bit of driving and the, the gas gauge is, is barely moving. You get that really great torque. Uh, so it gets up and goes really quickly. You're never waiting for you know, the gears to drop and for it to go. The electric motor kicks in right away, so it's the throttle response is really great. It's, it's really nice. I think they did a good job with the powertrain in this car. So one of the things I did notice with those big Fox shocks, when I put it in sport mode, I wanted to see if it handled as good as the capstone. You do notice a little more body roll when you're driving this vehicle, and it's definitely because that clearance is a little bit higher. On the highway, you definitely notice that it isn't as smooth as that capstone. The capstone, it was really, really nice on the highway. When you get in this truck, or you feel like this truck is rugged, this truck is well built, it's strong, it's tough, and then when you get in the capstone, it's luxury, it's refined, it's smooth, it's a great driving experience. So I think the designers did a really good job in the interiors here with uh, making sure you capture the essence of what the vehicle is. I'm a big fan of the LED light bar up in the front grille too. It's nice when uh, you wanna let people know to move out of the left lane or something, you just throw on that LED light bar and people see that and they're like, oh, this guy, this big uh, orange truck, I better get out of the way. So it's fun, it's cool. Again, I like that it comes from the, uh, the factory. You don't have to get anything aftermarket so you get that Toyota re reliability. Overall, I think Toyota did a really good job with the TRD Pro, a really compelling package. And if I was in the market, I think uh, I'd have a tough time between the two. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. We got the TRD Pro and the Capstone. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Do you want this uh, bright red, rugged off-road beast, or would you rather the more refined and luxurious Capstone? You let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, I know what I would pick. So if you like today's video and you want to see some more comparisons in the future, let us know. Hit the like button, subscribe. We got tons more content coming for you guys. Until the next video, I'm gonna go friggin' destroy the trails and go where this thing belongs, but I'll see you on the next one. Take care. I gotta get my <laughs> Yeehaw, brother. <laughs>